Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my what is in my hospital bag video. I'm currently 35 weeks and four days pregnant, so I finally have my bag packed and we are completely ready to go, ready for our baby's arrival. If you haven't seen my previous video, I did do a video on what is in my baby's hospital bag, so I will link it down below if you wanna check that out. This is just going to be what is in my hospital bag for me and my fiance. So I'm just gonna get right into it. The bag that I'm using is just a Puma duffel bag. This is my fiance's. And I didn't want to pack a bag separate from his just because we already have a separate bag for Owen's things and I just didn't wanna be bringing too many separate bags into the hospital. So we've just got everything combined in here. I decided to pack pretty minimally. Um, I didn't wanna have way more than I needed. So this is basically just all of the essentials. I packed the way I would have if I were just going on a one or two night trip. Aside from like cuter outfits, obviously these are gonna be all for comfort. So the first thing I'm going to show you is just what I packed for my fiance. So for my fiance, the first things that I packed for him were just a pair of comfy sweatpants and a pair of athletic shorts. And then he has three separate t-shirts to wear. I did not pack him a sweatshirt. I know hospitals are a little bit colder, but my fiance is very warm blooded. He gets hot very easily. And I really don't think he's going to be using a sweatshirt much in the hospital. So I went ahead and just took that off of his list. And then I also packed him a couple days worth of underwear and socks. For myself, I brought two pairs of socks. I brought a short pair of ankle socks and a fuzzy pair of socks just in case it is a little bit colder. I packed a pair of flip-flops just in case I do decide to shower in the hospital. I'm not totally sure that I'm going to um, just because it kind of grosses me out a little bit, but I did bring a pair in case, um, in case I decided to because I don't want to shower barefoot while I'm there. And then I also just packed my Ugg slippers, these are non-slide, so I don't really know that I'm gonna be wearing their socks with like the grips on the bottom, just because usually those are like a standard size and I have really, really small feet, so I feel like they're gonna be huge on me and probably be a trip hazard anyway, so brought my own non-slide, ooh, there's tape on the bottom, non-slide um, slippers. I did also pack just a couple pairs of underwear for myself, I know they provide the big huge ones in the hospital and um, I will probably most likely end up wearing those, but I wanted to pack a couple of my own just in case um, they're not comfortable or, or whatever. So I also packed a nursing bra. Here is the print. I ordered this from Amazon, so I will link it down below because I do not know what brand this is. I know they have all different kinds of um, different colors, but I wanted one with like a little bit of a cute pattern, so I ordered that. I am also bringing a nursing tank top. This is very long, but it is really comfortable. I also ordered this from Amazon. I ordered this in a two pack, so I have one in nude as well. These are really comfy and they are padded. Um, so I figured this would just be an easy top to wear um, without having to wear like extra shirts or anything because like I said, I didn't want to overpack and it would be difficult for me to just have to take my shirt off to get to my nursing bra or whatever. So probably wearing the nursing tank top more than the bra itself um, unless we have guests or whatever coming to visit. So one nursing tank top, one nursing bra. I brought a loose, comfy pair of Victoria's Secret shorts. I also brought a pair of maternity leggings. Um, I'm not sure how comfortable I'm going to be in recovery, whether or not I have a C-section or, or not, because I'm, I may wear these home, I haven't decided, um, or just in the hospital, depending on how I'm feeling and how comfortable it is for me to wear something a little bit tighter. But these are very comfy, they're my favorite pair of leggings. And I also brought, just in case, a really loose pair of pink sweatpants that I will probably end up going home in um, if I decide not to wear the tighter leggings. So really loose pair of pink sweatpants and just one black top to go home in. It's just a plain maternity tank top. I bought this, I believe, 
It's the brand A Glow. I'm pretty sure I got this at Motherhood Maternity. Um, very comfortable. I wanted to wear something pretty basic. So now I'm going to move on to um, all of my toiletries and extra little things um, here and there that I've packed. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is my nursing essentials. And I briefly talked about this in my um, what's in my baby's hospital bag video because originally I had my nurse or my nursing stuff um, packed in her bag, but I decided to go ahead and throw it in my bag because I had more space in there and you know, it's obviously stuff I'm going to be using for myself. So I went ahead and packed her nursing scarf. This was one thing that I had in my previous video, but I've moved it to my bag. It is the Eddie Bauer nursing scarf. You can get it from Target. I packed a couple of my own nursing pads. These are very thin and I have had a hard time deciding what kind of pads that I like for nursing. I have tried the Target brand. They're very itchy to me. And so I ordered the Nuke ones because these are ultra thin, even though they're really large. Um, these are ultra thin and they're not itchy to me. So I packed a couple of those in case I'm not comfortable with the ones that they give me in the hospital. And then I also have a little nipple cream. This is the lanolin nipple cream. I went ahead and packed just a comb for myself along with um, some hair ties. I do have a few bobby pins in here. Um, I brought a nail file for myself and for baby just in case I need to file her nails. And then I've heard this is essential, which is the lip balm. Um, I know this is essential because I work in the hospital and they're very dry. So this is just the Carmex Comfort Care. It's really thick, thick lip balm. I love it. This is one of my favorites. So definitely, definitely one of the big essentials that you need to have. I have two little travel toothbrush and toothpaste, one for myself and my fiance. I have a travel shampoo and conditioner. Again, not sure that I'm going to be showering in the hospital, but just in case, and I know my fiance might want to. So pack those. I packed a travel size, not your mother's dry shampoo. This is probably going to be my go-to instead of showering when I'm in the hospital, but so can't forget that, especially if you're a girl. And then a travel deodorant. This is just an Old Spice. Um, I wear my fiance's deodorant all the time because I like the smell of it. It lasts a lot longer, so we're just gonna be sharing this. I brought a bottle of hand sanitizer for any guests that come in, although they will be washing their hands ahead of time, but again, I work in a hospital, so I have this all the time with me. I also packed a just a little travel pack of the Neutrogena um, makeup remover wipes. Now the last things that I am going to be putting in my bag right before we leave is a phone charger and probably a makeup bag. I know I probably won't be wearing much makeup, if any, during my labor and delivery, but I am having professional pictures taken within her first 48 hours of birth. So I'm probably going to want to be wearing a little bit of makeup for those pictures when they're done. Um, so I'm going to be packing just a few minimal things, not the full on regimen, but just something to kind of spruce me up and put me together a little bit before we have professional photos done. And I believe that's it. I hope you enjoyed my version of what I'm putting in my hospital bag. I am a first time mom. I wanted to pack very minimally. I do not like to overpack. So if you have recommendations on what else I should be packing or anything that you think I have in here that is going to be completely useless, um, please let me know. There are things I know that I'm missing, but our hospital provides a lot as far as the postpartum recovery pads, um, the peri bottle, tux pads, things like that. Um, that I do have here and I will be using at home, but I know I'm just gonna end up using the supplies while I'm at the hospital. So I really did not find a reason to pack anything too much post postpartum other than just what I'm probably gonna be using for nursing. I will be getting my breast pump at the hospital as a prescription. They're just going to deliver a new breast pump for me right up to my delivery room. So that is not something that I need to have ahead of time and bring with me. So that is it for what is in my hospital bag. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave recommendations below if I'm missing anything. And I hope this helped you put together your list of what you want in your hospital bag. And I will see you in my next video.